I will never again charcoal the flesh of another's heart. I refuse to hurt another woman. Another rib taken for granted while a silk dress falls from shoulderless straps. My once idle hands caress devil's skin too hot to touch. This void seeks more emptiness. Darkness is my playground while unfulfilling urges palpitate to the surface, not ready for the light of day. Dust settles as the dead skin of my past victims lying in the cemetery of threaded sheets, my room turned into a sauna, but my breath exhales with icy chill. Passion generates sweat from the friction of our skin. This is savage. Primitive instinct thrusts this heated night into overdrive without care of whether or not she actually understood me when I said, I'm not looking for a relationship. It never mattered though, not to me at least. I wonder if she could have seen, projected like the rolling films real, the played out scenes of my real intentions. Would she still be grabbing frantically at these sheets? Would her screams continue to be in sync with my movements? If she only knew, she was nothing more than a prized object of the night. <sighs> Why am I asking these questions when I already know the answer? It's so easy to fill pain with pleasurable feelings. I've realized I was only cycling pain by not reciprocating but rejecting her feelings. Without excuse, I quit using my brain and let testosterone make decisions for me. Now I'm all alone with convictions preaching guilty sermons through and through me. Darkness can no longer be my playground when angels of integrity begin cursing with blame. When I realized I used her so badly, I never even listened when I asked her her name. When all along I just wanted to say, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I know this is harsh. I hope you can forgive me, but you are just a temporary replacement. I wish you could understand that my heart is encased with the scars of burnt flesh. I handed it to a human torch. It now resides in an arctic region and I've become numb with frostbitten valves and my senses are dead from experiencing opposite extremes and I was hoping you could stimulate some sort of sensation, any sort of sensation. But now I realize observation on my part should have seen the open wounds bleeding in your eyes. It seems I've turned into the monster that mangled me. So I apologize for the pain I've caused you. You see, that was a younger me. I am a man who no longer subscribes to these promiscuous ideologies because we need to take ownership and recognize in society that we've begun viewing women as meat and the harder we pound them, the more tender we get. Let me repeat that. We've begun viewing women as meat and the harder we pound them, the more tender they get. Charades of questionable intention masquerade this game. Delicate spirits tiptoe around trust, shattering confidence and abolishing self-worth. Sexual exploitation breeds pain that beauty is a curse. So sealed lips keep laughter captive. Because remember, player, every soul desires the companionship of love. And in the end, when that time comes, the jokester will always be a part of the joke.